shooting in California comes five days after the Black Friday shooting in Colorado Springs. And these constant stories of gunmen and punk are puncturing holes in our perception of safety. So tonight, Cardio News Channel 13's Emily Allen is asking experts what it takes to survive a mass shooting. She joins us live outside Planned Parenthood. James, I spoke to an officer who's been doing this type of training for 10 years, and he says that the key is to think about these situations just a little bit every day because that could be a matter of life or death. We can't explain the violence. Shooting at my work, people shot. A shot came from inside the building, blew out a window. But police officer Sean Hartley can explain what to do when it strikes. I've probably got about 10 years in now as an active shooter instructor. He says tactics have changed since the Columbine High School shooting. Instead of telling people to hide. We've heard of people in the past where they did hide and barricaded until the gunman finally got to them and encountered them. The best thing you can do is try to escape. When in doubt, get out. But if there is no way to run, then take cover. These teaching videos show people putting up barricades. Find a good hiding spot, lock the door, continue to think that even though you are barricaded or you're hiding, if you still can escape the situation, we would ask that you keep that option open. And if all else fails, fight. Hartley says almost anything can be used as a weapon. There are no rules when it comes to, a, to one of those fights. You do whatever it takes to win that situation. According to statistics, here in the U.S., about every three months, there is a mass shooting that kills at least four people. Officer Hartley says the key is not to be paranoid, but everyone should have a plan. You don't have to be paranoid to, to walk through life a little bit more aware. Hartley says if violence strikes, try to stay calm. Your head is your best weapon. Hartley says you should take 30 seconds when you're at work and at school every day. Just run through some of those scenarios in your head. It just takes 30 seconds, but he says if you do that, if there is a disaster that strikes, at least then you will be better prepared. In Colorado Springs, Emily Allen, KRDO, News Channel 13. All right.